Hello, English Picker here. Um, just a quick video of some of my uh, antique market thrift store picking finds. Um, just a few bits and bobs so far this month. Nothing great. I've looked out on uh, another Morgan Dollar. Got a fantastic deal on it. So here's what I found. So this is the Morgan Dollar I found starting off. Uh, hopefully not bore you too much with these Morgan Dollars that I'm picking up. Uh, this is just amazing. It is a um, really nice 1889 Philadelphia um, Morgan Silver Dollar. This side's a bit sort of te not fantastic toning, um, but it isn't circulated. You know, you've got some real nice detail on there, real crisp detail. It's certainly in the the 50s. This one, this side's a lot nicer. <clears throat> you can, uh, it has got the cartwheels. Um, you can see all the detail of the eagle. All of that. There's just no real turning on it at all. It's, it's just, it's in fantastic shape. It's not the most attractive turning, but if you compare it to the other um, 1899 one I've got. So here's one. And compare it to that one, it really is night and day. Um, it weighs right, it feels right. So yeah, I'm quite happy with it. And uh, but the, the main thing I'm quite happy about is um, I paid twenty pounds for it. Um, so I actually got this off eBay. Um, I'm very hesitant about buying Morgan dollars off eBay, but the seller which I previously bought coins off, this came on. So I contacted her and said, you know, what does it weigh, what does it measure, and she was, you know, really cool, she sent back the exact weight, um, measurement and everything like that. So I was uh, the starting bid, so I managed to get it for £19.99 pence with free shipping. So you can't really go wrong with that, I mean, keep it in this nice coin capsule, keep it safe and um, it's a bit of an investment there so uh, yeah really pleased with that Morgan dollar so uh, that will add to uh, my collection. Also on the coin front I picked these up, uh, these were a antique store purchase, uh, there's some French coins, they're after the war so because of the war the French went to a uh, a bronze alloy and a cupra nickel for pretty much most of their coins. Um, I paid a quid for all of these, so one pound, you can't really go wrong. So it's seven coins, and some of them, like this one, is is almost in mint state. Uh, it's 1953. Uh, just really lovely design on them. Um, you know, there's no value intrinsically to them or anything, but they're just, you know, they're nice, they're nice coins. So uh, for a quid, I thought it was worth the risk really, I mean, um, you can't really go wrong for something like that. So not to bore everybody with the coins, especially the vintage Fetcher, who's uh, always saying I, I get too much silver and stuff, even though I personally think you can never have too much silver. I picked up this from a thrift store, it's a, uh, a primitive, it's made out of some kind of horn. Uh, in a in a bird shape, you know it's quite roughly done here, but this is quite elegant. It's got little eyes um, in, inlaid in, and it's very smooth. Um, so yeah, I picked up for uh, one ninety nine. Um, so you know I can see a bit of a profit in that. Um, I've, I've on some of the programs like American Pickers and some of the others, you see them banging on about primitives and how the market's hot for them. So. I thought I'd give it a go. It doesn't look to be too much of a mass-produced item. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. Then the last thing this week is um, really a lesson in um, networking uh, and getting the word around about what you do and etc. And etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, a lot of people know that I go out picking and also scrap copper and things like that. And a friend's dad said, oh, I've got this and... Um, this laptop and it do, it doesn't work, uh, but you can have it if you want. So um, it's a Toshiba laptop. 
in very good condition other than the fact of when you turn it on it switches on and stuff but nothing comes on the screen so um, you know it's not too old I think it's uh, three or four years old something like that uh, so what I'm gonna do I think is I'm gonna see if I can find out how much it is to repair and if not I mean you've got the power lead and everything I'm just gonna chuck it on eBay as spares or repairs I mean at the end of the day all you're really risking is the um, is the listing fees so if you can't take a gamble on a quid on some listing fees and if you get it for absolutely nothing then um, it's happy days really so you know don't don't be shy about telling friends and family about what you do and stuff like that because things crop up I mean I've certainly been given coins before uh, for free because people know that I collect them buy them and sell them so uh, you know get the word out and um, you never know you might get some freebies along the way so I'd just like to thank Rachel's dad if he does watch this um, I'm gonna make sure I delete all um, content in it if if I do sell it before selling it because you know um, ID theft and stuff like that then lastly is a bit of an update uh, in one of my last videos I pointed out this uh, watercolour um, which I picked up from a thrift store for $1.99 or what no £1.50 I think it was it was under £2 it's a nice watercolour badly mounted because you, you, you've lost the bottom of the signature off there uh, took it along to the auction today. Um, they said it was a, you know, quite a nice, well executed um, watercolor. Uh, prime candidate for remounting, so they suggested that I get a nicer frame and get it mounted properly, um, so you can see the signature and stuff like that. I mean, they still said that it would sell, um, but obviously they'll take their cut. But the auction estimate for it, for when I decide to put it in is 30 to 40 pounds so for a one two pound sort of investment it's a bit like terminal 99 says will that it's better than the lottery not that i do the lottery anyway but investing in art is is a good way forward i mean really it's one of those things it's a bit like old books just because it's old doesn't necessarily mean it's valuable You've got to you've got to look for quality and seeing this, I can see that you know it's an attractive looking picture. If if stuff doesn't look right, then other people are going to notice that. But to me, this looks like a nice, you know, a, a nice, well well done picture. So um, for thirty forty pounds, I'm going to put it in the auction and see how it goes. I'll I'll just chuck it in another frame and um, I'll I'll update you on how it goes. So I'd just like to thank everyone who watches my videos. It means a lot to me that you guys are commenting, suggesting things, stuff like that. Um, it really helps me um, along the way with all all the little tips and advice and stuff like that. And I, I like to think that I contribute um, to say if there's a someone out there who's who's stuck in a job, who's uncertain about what to do, and maybe got you know thinking, oh, you know, I've got no sort of prospects or no way to improve myself is to watch these videos and think yeah I can still do my job but at the weekends I can go to thrift stores I can go to antique shows all those sort of things and pick up one or two you know you know four or five really nice items for under like 20 quid and and flip them and make a nice little profit and then you've got you know a bit of beer money or some money to buy yourself that t-shirt you wanted or something like that so even in these tough times you know there's ways of making money little little things like that and I think that um, there's certainly a growing population of people who are really tapping into this market and I'm, I'm really glad to be a part of it so um, this year I'm, I'm going to try and try and get out a video at least once a week so uh, stay tuned for some hopefully some great finds thanks for watching